Hello good people and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. If you have used pivot tables before, you realize it's a very handy tool in Excel to summarize data. But did you know that beyond summarizing data, you could use pivot tables to actually extract different reports, put them in different pages based on the filter that you apply. So let me cut short this explanation and head to Excel so that I show you how this is done. So here I have my data, dates, items sold, whether these items have been paid for or not, the price, quantity, and then revenue. What I want to do is analyze this by revenue and item to determine which portion has been paid for and which portion has not been paid for. I can do this by using the pivot table. So here I stand in any cell, go to insert and I will insert a pivot table here. I get this dialog box and I want to place my pivot table in a new worksheet. So I click OK. So now I get my pivot table menu and my report area. I'm analyzing by revenue so I can check revenue or drag and hold to the value section. So you observe that my grand total for revenue is 117. I'll drag the paid column which contains yes and no to the row section. And this gives me a breakdown of this 117, the portion that has been paid for 58 and the portion that has not been paid for. I want to be able to see this by item. So I'm going to take item and drag it to the filter section. Now, when I drag it to the filter section, I get this list of all the products in my item column. So it means I can see only meat, I can see only rice or wine for that matter. So what if I want to create a report for each product or item in a separate page? So to do that, I'll select the default all and then in the pivot table analyze option. In the extreme left, you see pivot table options. So you drop this and you see this menu. When you've applied a filter to a pivot table, you get the option to show reports by filter pages. So it's basically helping you create separate reports based on these items that you have here. So you come in here and then you click on show report by filter pages. The column here is item and then we click OK. So once I do this, you observe that for each item, chips, meat, pizza, rice, and wine, I now have a breakdown or different reports showing me the portion that has been paid for and the portion that has not been paid. My original report, which is the all, is still here and my table is also here. So it's a very handy way to see distinct reports that is based on the column you've applied as a filter. As usual, please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can send add to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive videos on Mondays and Fridays. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finders Close Hub. Please visit and subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.